Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Avengers and today I thought since this game has finally come out on Steam and, and it's half price until the 11th of September I thought it'd be really awesome to just give this another look through after a year of YouTube because this was probably the game that inspired my drive to do YouTube because I really wanted to play like educate people from an educational perspective about human evolution at this with this game but I also thought there's not really many people playing this game and like having an because a lot of the reviews of this game was oh it's hard or it's this I can't get past the first 10 hours but it was just really awesome to give my own perspective on that and I think that's what kind of drove me to do YouTube so I thought it would be perfect to revisit this after a year with some updates and now it's out on Steam, so I got it out on Steam, and yeah, I'm really excited to give this another look. And plus, if you go back and watch my old ancestors videos, you can't hear me half the time, just because I was still figuring out how to play, um, how to use software and stuff, so a lot of that was terrible. So I thought I might as well give a new one with a bit more education, a bit more focused, and it'll be a bit more awesome, hopefully. And plus it'll be like at native uh, 1080, not 1080, that was at 1080, this will be at native, this will be 4K, so that'll be awesome, so let's get stuck into it, we'll just start, um, I'll just make sure I've got a timer, yes, timer there, okay, new lineage, then we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it, hmm, hmm, okay, No, we put, it's funnier when you put just a monkey. Yes, we're going to return to monkey or go from monkey evolution. Okay, so let's do, let's go. Not a first timer, we're a survivor. I think we'll just go with the natural clan because obviously humans live in clans. It'd be kind of weird to just go by yourself. Though it'd probably be easy to do if you really wanted to. We'll go first time, total. Useful, immersive, a minimal bug full tutorial. Hmm, I think we'll just go. We'll just go total. We don't care about our gender. Monkey. First time, yep. Well, that, that was that game. So now we're going to be playing it again. Yeehaw. Let me just take my jumper off then. Inspired by true events. The worlds and characters you will encounter are meant to represent archetypes of a place or in the moment. That was that description. Later started scientific discoveries will change that, of course. This adventure was made by Panache Digital Studios, with, which is composed of these people very wonderful people if you go watch that interview and they did interview a couple of them that was really fun it was really nice to pick their brains and they watch my own videos that's awesome so it's nice to think that i'm starting to make an impact on some people it's really it's really humbling to think of that okay in the following hours you relive the challenges of the dawn of humanity embark into never-ending odyssey of human progression on this planet Use your body, senses, mind, and voice to guide your voyages. Gain strength and numbers to advance the species. Survive the elements, teach your family, build a home. Good luck, we won't help you much, <laughs> and you certainly won't. And remember, evolution is not set in stone, it is the path you forge. Boom, boom, boom. And I love that chord progression. Perfect. Africa, 10 million years ago. Uh oh. Oh, 
at those boys. Oh! Scary croco. Sleepy sleep sleep. He dead. Scary Macarodus. So, ancestors, the humankind odyssey. Volume 1, before us. Look at those pretty birds and everything. Oh, look at us swinging through the trees. We're lucky we got a fish. Oh. Oh. Gotta run. Gotta go fast. Poor baby. Now we gotta hide. Let's see if we can hide. Regain safety in a hiding spot. We gotta go. We need to make it back to the clan or hide in here. Okay, press E. Head over this way. Let's go. We will survive. Okay, so we're now going to find the lost child. Mama ain't not going to be happy. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, right here. Nice. That was perfect on my part. There we are. Perfect mother. Look at that. I didn't even expect it. That would be right next to us. So that worked out perfectly. So now it's time to head back home. Okay, join your clan in the settlement. Let's go, let's go. And we're back home. Nice and easy. No problemos. There we are, little friends back together again. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh. Looks like we're mourning the loss of a lost monkey, a lost ape, a lost friend. That's so sad. Well, look. Build a sleep spot, so we've got to do what we're told. Let's build a sleep spot. That's easy. I've already played this game like three times, so it'll be fun just to show it off. Really enjoy this game. Some more than I used to get. Okay, yeah, grab. Is that construction? That's what I'm doing. Hold E. Four eight couple. Am I allowed another kid? Let's see. I don't have a mate. Get plenty of mutations. That's working out pretty. Okay, have some kitties. It's distracting me. I really like how they made it a little bit more obvious when you meant to click. Add a little visual aspect as well. Okay, we'll do that soon. Let's have some kids, then we'll discover some stuff. Because that's what we gotta do. Okay, we'll let the animation play next. Am I allowed another kid? Or is it? Is that it for me? So now we got our evolution here. Okay, so assign neural energy to connect neurons and develop your lineage capability. Grow neurons you want when they're mature enough to receive them. Neural energy is accumulated by doing action with kids around. Neuron loses energy being locked, reinforced, all that. So exit. Am I allowed to be pregnant again, or is it just my one baby? Yeah. Oh, nope. Got another pregnancy. We'll watch this one. We'll see the cute animation. We baby. <laughs> Be men's. Okay, then we got this couple babies. How many members do we have?
So let's see what we can do. Let's have a look around. Some nice fresh water. Okay, so eat, drink, all that. Hungry. Hungry monkey. Let's see what stuff we can grab at the moment. Drink it away. Inspect. I'm just looking around as much as I can, really. You're always constantly learning with this one. Can't really interact with those yet, I don't think. Rocky Rock Rock. Let's make a new tool. I can't yet. And here's something up here. Precious stones. Carrying a precious stone will give courage when fairly unknown. Less dopamine is needed. Some precious stones now fall covers. Wow, that's pretty cool. Didn't even know it could do that. So you learn something new every time you play this. Oh. 
Let's see what we can get. Not that. Now we got our abilities now. Look at that. We're gonna zoom ahead of the competition. Nope, that's not what we wanted. It's hard. <laughs> You'd be very fine skilled to do that. So yeah, something new there. We're gonna grab some honey. Climb up here. Gathering spot. Okay, we got a beehive. Inspect. Taste. We're good. I think what we're going to do now is got a stick here. Then we'll go do our mission. Uh oh. -oh. So this is what we are here, we are like a early, this is kind of before the split between chimps and humans. This is like a made up species, but as we evolve we'll get into the next species, uh, Salanthropus chichadensis, so that'd be pretty cool to see. Um, let's see. Anything I haven't found yet? I got my babies on me, yeah I do. So let's think we can go do it. Cool. So now we just have our first location. Gotta dip in that honey bee. Honey bee bee. I like that little rock, hmm? <laughs> There's our group here. Uh oh. Ooh, 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 oh no. Run, run, run. See the smoke there?
I'm not gonna lie, kind of scared about swinging around up so high. Gonna die. Oh, we're injured. Okay, that that works out better. Do we have any? I don't know how to fix this. Just need some granite. Funny spot. Oh yeah. What did I just make? Something weird. We're in a grinder. going on here. We're gonna make our way round, no problemo. Did it again. <laughs> no resistance. We will be fine. Just as long as we avoid. 
this man right here. Which we're definitely not doing right now. So we got to deal with fear of the unknown. Find some horse tails around here. Hey, some. Get this. Rock. Some more rocks. What I need is somewhere with Sticks. Hopefully, it doesn't stick out. <laughs> well, that's what we kind of need it to do at the moment. You need to stick out. Whittle swamp. It's very hard to 
figure out where you're going if it's just all jungle. But we went a little too far, so we gotta go back a bit. We gotta go back. Care about a grinder right now. You expect? Get lit too. I want to get a look at you. Is it Crocodilio sitting there chilling? It's really cool about the story of this guy. This is named after a croc researcher. He's obviously got the last name. He passed away a few years ago. He's very um important in a lot of croc research so they decided to name an extinct croc after him which was obviously a very excellent choice i'm gonna have a look at this and then we're gonna get out of here see if we can upgrade a few million years Friending an outsider can be our next goal. Get home. Huh. 
Green Mamba. Those are around today. Let's get out of here. Might be able to evolve soon. I'm done two at one. Nice. go and have a sleep, I think. Looks like we're getting tired. So the name of the guy, I just checked um, the interwebs, his name was John Thobaronsi. Or something like that. Be awesome. Thor be awesome. I keep thinking of like the strong man half Thor be awesome, but it's not quite the same. But yeah, he's a very famous crop conservationist. Not as famous as Steve Irwin, but very influential. Is that a. No, that's one of ours. What I think what we'll do is. Have a look over here, then we'll go and evolve. I don't know where we are. This little area is at least semi safe. Might as well do it while I'm out here. In here, Cover. There we are, the sister arches. So this two of them. We've got the Eastern Green Mamba, which is kind of a really cool little animal. Obviously snake. Obviously Mambas are quite famous for having some very, very deadly venom. Like the Black Mamba, which is a relative as well. There's the big Green Forest one and the Black Savannah one, you could say. We have our giant warthog, which is has the name. Oh, that's what we've gone so far. Let's, let's get our way home. So, Marent, uh, Metria Chalice, I believe it is. That's something like that. I'm not an expert on these names, but it's obviously a giant uh, extinct pig. A lot of these uh, versions, because this is set in the Miocene or the 10 million years ago, which is about the mid-Miocene. There wasn't too many differences in terms of what animals were living then versus today. Not hugely. There were some animals that you'd probably recognize, like rhinos and things like that, but a lot of things were kind of just like giant versions of things living today, or kind of relics from the rest of the Cenozoic. 
So it really just depends on like um, what perspective it is looking at. It's a very interesting time, nonetheless. Africa was very different at the time. Obviously, it was a lot more forested. There were still grasslands, but it was generally just world was warmer and wetter at the time. So a lot more forests and such like this. So we're about to take our time and get home. It's really awesome to see how they represented this environment. But the thing is as well is that it takes place over 10 million years. Or 8 million years, actually. So you've got to be very careful with um, what animals live at this time. So some animals live more in the Pliocene, which is between 5 and 2 million years ago. And some lived in the Miocene, which was up to that time. So it really just kind of amalgamated all the animal pool animals from that time that lived in Africa and put them in. Let's see what we can do now. We'll have a drink first. We're not thirsty. Are we hungry? It's mainly just sleep. We'll evolve some. And then we can... We've got six there. Nice. Okay, so progress through errors earns faster when science suggests a better for tune imputation. Launch an evolution to see how historical feats add up to German length of time. The neurons brought by genetic uh, mutations and affect adults will be effective. Uh, your lineage will evolve and will be located in random oases once you save the region. Okay. So I think what we'll do is... Is there any that I didn't... Oh, we'll just leave the one out. That's fine. Change generation, and then we'll do an evolution. Hopefully we should be able to get the first animal, and then we'll talk about it, and it should be in the episode. Years it laid down. Imagine the SpongeBob voice. <laughs> see. Continuous genetic mutation. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So the mutations that we had at the babies become effective. Let's do an evolution of deep. Yes. Come on.
so we're going through all the evolutions. See, 15,000 years. One death, unfortunately. This us back a wee bit. Four births, 20,000 years. Let's see, that's 10,000 times faster than science. Revolving faster than science, now we get a new location. Oh, this is awesome. Gives us a new base. So this will be the start off of our next episode then. Man, that's so cool. Okay, so... Let's sort this out next episode. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys make sure to click that little bell at the bottom there. So whenever I upload a video, you'll always get notified that I'm playing a game. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe and bye-bye.